Kenyatta-Kaskazini was first tabled by Ndora West MP David Bahati on 14th October 2009. It created an international uproar, raising questions about Uganda's respect for minority rights. It led the bill to being shelved. But now MPs in the 8th Parliament want it debated and passed before their term expires in May this year. The anti-homosexuality bill has generated a lot of debate and interest in our population, both for and against. And we are sensitive about that interest. We are going to be intensifying uh, advocacy and lobbying of all stakeholders in the next uh, three weeks. Today, the chairman of the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Stephen Tashovia, says public consultations on the bill are likely to begin as early as next week when parliament reconvenes from the election recess. So we shall put up public notices uh, for all types of people, for all Ugandans, even foreigners that have an input to make, to come and appear before the committee and have this matter resolved once and for all. Uh, I'm, I will be working with my colleagues uh, to talk to other members of parliament to ensure that this bill is debated and concluded before we close the ACE parliament. The former ethics and integrity minister Dr. Sabab Turo, who resigned last week, also asked the public to push parliament to pass the bill. I urge you to put pressure on parliament to debate amend the anti-homosexuality bill where necessary and pass a law. Moved as a private member's bill, it proposes that anybody found guilty of committing aggravated homosexuality should be sentenced to death. We are working with the religious leaders. Uh, we are working with uh, people in the legal fraternity. Uh, we are working with parents and uh, schools. If passed into law, it could also punish even lawyers who defend homosexuals in courts of law, as well as those who aid and promote the act with imprisonment. Many development partners threatened to suspend aid to Uganda if the government did not withdraw the bill. And in my opinion, the future of our children is more important than the money we get from abroad. And the interests of Uganda are more important than the interests of foreigners. We are a sovereign state and nobody should really dictate the values we should adopt in our country. Despite resistance from among cabinet ministers, Bahati is upbeat that it will sail through, given the support across party lines in parliament. Agnes Nandutu.